Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal are how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a man named Raymond Danger Gonzalez. Raymond Gonzalez has been featured in the news not too long ago for something that happened nearly six years ago. And here's why. On December 11, 2017, Baldwin Park gangster Raymond Danger Gonzalez allegedly lured Bobby Ryan and Jacob Dominguez at his Baldwin Park home. Games in Baldwin Park include East Side Bowling Park, North Side Bowling Park, and Kings have arrived. So, Danger is from one of the three, my guess, between East Side Bowling Park, but very well likely could be North Side Bowling Park. Back to the story. The motive or reason Danger lured Ryan to his home was the fact that Ryan had come to the home with $4,000 in cash he had received from an insurance payout after his car was totaled in a car crash. It is likely Jacob Dominguez is friends with Bobby Ryan and that explains why Jacob followed along and was with Bobby Ryan at the time of the incident. What happens next is crazy. Danger had knowledge of Bobby Ryan having money. Danger had a weapon hidden in the dryer. The two boys went to the house. It was at this moment that Danger went into the dryer, got the weapon, shot both boys in the head, and then emptied his revolver into Bobby Ryan's torso. Gonzalez then allegedly wrapped the bodies in curtains, carjacked a van, and drove up to Victorville, where he dumped the bodies in the desert. Danger was already in custody for another crime when he got arrested for Bobby's and Jacob murder. What devastated both the victims, Bobby's and Jacob's families was when on January 21st, 2021, a judge agreed to drop gang enhancements and special circumstance allegations against Gonzalez in accordance with George Gascon's reforms. The dropping of the special circumstances takes life with parole off the table and will make Raymond Danger Gonzalez eligible for a parole hearing after 20 years in prison, even if he's convicted of the two murders. Usually, when someone gets convicted of a crime like this, they get life without parole or the death sentence, but not under George Gascon's watch. Gascon's administration has told reporters that the parole board only grants parole 15% of the time. However, Gascon's critics say that number will rise because Gascon doesn't allow his prosecutors to attend parole hearings. Time will only tell what awaits the future of Baldwin Park gangster Raymond Danger Gonzalez.